This snake mama was a little angry. When one of my snakes lays eggs, the first thing I do is remove the mother so I could collect the eggs. Most of the time they don't give me an issue, but this girl took a snap at me. Each snake is going to have their own personality. Although she's usually a great snake, I don't completely trust her. I would never bring her to one of my events where I let people hold or pet snakes. After all the eggs are marked, I'll collect them and put them in my egg box. Usually when I mark them as they lay, that's where the embryo is. But every now and then the mother does roll the eggs around and the embryo could end up on the bottom. Which may cause the embryo to die. So I like to candle the eggs just to be sure the embryo is on top and the egg is fertile. The embryo could be identified as a circle within a network of veins. After I have the eggs safe and sound in the egg box, I'll mark the box with the name and date. This is especially important when you have multiple clutches of eggs in your incubator. And even more important when you're breeding complex morphs of ball pythons. It helps determine when the clutch is going to hatch and who the mother and the father of that clutch is.